Hello, and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today I was starting to make a video about recording with SDR Uno running the RSP1A. And while I was setting up for the video here, I noticed some odd behavior going on with my RSP. In fact, I noticed this a few nights ago when I was tuning around the band with it. And I started fooling around with some of the settings, and I think I figured out what the problem is, or at least how to work around it. So let me first show you guys what's happening. Right now, I've got the radio tuned to 10 megahertz, which is WWV. If I push play, you're going to see what's going to happen is instead of receiving WWV reliably, we're going to get a high noise floor here with bleed over from some sort of a station. I think it's a shortwave religious station of some sort. Don't know why, I don't have any of those nearby, but that's just what it sounds like it is. If we kind of listen between the static and hear sort of the, the audio behind the program. But either way, it's making the radio kind of unusable. So let me give you a quick demo of what that looks like. So you can see the noise floor is constant across the band, and you can kind of hear the bleed over a little bit of audio there. It's kind of unintelligible, but if you listen hard enough, you can hear what's going on. And then if we leave it here long enough, it'll sort of disappear for a little while, and the band will go back to normal. And we can hear WWV or whatever it is we're trying to listen to. And there you go. You can see it faded out a little bit and then came back. So, what I ended up figuring out was that if I went under settings, for whatever reason, my IFAGC was turned off and was sort of set manually here around 30 decibels. So let me move this over, push this back on. If we slide this all the way down, you can kind of see it affects the noise floor. And if we get it up high enough here, that noise goes away and we're hearing what we should be hearing, which is WWV. So I guess to remedy the problem, you can either crank it way up here in this area or click on the automatic IFAGC mode and leave it in that mode and you should be okay. Now you can see the other setting here. I've got the radio set to zero IF at the moment and you can switch between low IF and zero IF and the behavior is about the same. I don't notice much difference. If I slide this down, you can hear that shortwave station kind of comes back into the mix. If we crank it back up or leave it on automatic mode, then everything is okay. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of show that because I thought if I was having trouble with it, maybe somebody else would be too, and maybe this will be helpful. If this was helpful for you, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. Thanks for watching.